Welcome uh, to this video and in this video we're going to be looking at the um, common features of websites and the first thing we're going to look at is um, the sort of key features that you um, see and come across when uh, dealing with websites. So we've got things like banners, search boxes, menus, content areas, image videos, sound, footers, cascading star sheets, hyperlinks, hotspots, embedded content, applets and widgets. And the first one we're going to have a look at is what is a, uh, a web banner, website banner. And uh, we're going to have a quick look at the school website. And the banner is up here, so at the top of the page. It's not this. It's typically um, at the top of the page. It has um, maybe a background color, a single color. It might have an image embedded in it as well. But it would have the sort of company logo, or in this case, the school logo. Okay, so that is what a, um, a, a banner is. Uh, in terms of the next one we're going to have a look at is the search box. And on most websites, um, you would have a search box. So in the John and Gaunt one, you have a search box. So you can find key things. So if I type in, I don't know, canteen, it's going to come back with a um, some search results, okay, which um, allow the users to easily search um, for key terms, particularly if it's a, a big website, and then there are um, links here to help you. Next part is um, the menu system, and that can come in many formats. Okay, you can have many different um, uh, drop downs. So here we've got a, um, a, a static navigation, so when you click it, nothing happens, it, uh, although it highlights it with a sort of lighter blue background. Um, with some of them, um, if we just go back to the home page, you can get pop out sort of menus and navigation. So like here, we've got like a, a little bit of script here that brings out this navigation here. Okay, and on some websites, you might click or highlight something and it drops down a, a drop down uh, box as well. Okay, so navigation can be at the top, it can be on the right, the left, you can have different types of navigation, so there's navigation here based on news stories, or you can have the main navigation, and that navigation will typically stay the same wherever you go to enable the, the user not to be too um, confused. So that's a bit about the menu or the navigation content area. Um, so that's um, you know, the area where the main content is going to be. So this is the home page. Let's have a look at some information. Um, the information page and again we've got lots of pictures there um, but typically the, the content area is in the middle okay so you've got the header up here you've got the content area it could be text it could be pictures it could be so on we've also got different fonts um, and maybe sort of a, a, embedded sort of, sort of mini banners in here as well next part let's have a look at images video and sound well obviously we, we um, We've seen that a lot with, with websites these days. This is back in the, the day when websites first came out. They were uh, very much text-based and didn't look like um, websites that we know of now. So we've got lots of image there, images there. We've got image galleries in some, um, in some cases. If we uh, go to an example, which is Reading Festival, we've got um, videos here and... Um, We've got uh, links into YouTube, so this is going to play into YouTube. So this is Reading Festival, okay? So we, we've got videos, uh, and obviously we could have sound clips. We could have um, MP3s in there, uh, playing or um, previewing or or whatever. So in terms of the footer, the uh, footer of the website uh, typically is the bottom. And uh, we've actually got l quite a large footer with the uh, John and Gaunt School, but typically it's for businesses. It would be additional things like contact, um, email addresses. It could be um, you know VAT addresses, um, policies, um, anything like that, um, where it doesn't really fit on one page, but it's down there. So for the Reading Festival, they've got some. Um, advertising links uh, for this website here we've got here we go about us uh, privacy in terms of use and the copyright and so on uh, for this um, this site we had a look at that didn't we so if we go to this website here at the very footer they've got just some basic information 
about um, creating free websites. Okay, so that's a bit about footers. Cascading star sheets. Now, um, when you were creating your HTML, you um, probably uh, created that and thought, well, if I'm going to have to do this for bold and underline and um, for colors, you think, oh, it's going to take a long time. And what if I created more than one one web page? Would I have to copy? And how does it all, how does that work? Well, in the world of professional web design, we use something called um, cascading star sheets. Okay, and what they look like is similar to this here. Okay, you have one file that is separate to your um, to your website and to your web pages. And it basically controls how the standard look of every page is going to look. So, for instance, um, you know what background colours are going to be, uh, where is the uh, position of the background going to be, uh, border colours, and so on. This can, this can go on for many, many lines, you know, even hundreds of lines about how things are going to work. And that's just a very simple um, example. And it's called a CSS or cascading star sheet. Okay. And um, you know, if we look at the source of this, um, and if we just type in CSS, you can see where the CSS is referenced to. Um, so here, for instance, we've got you know the theme for the the web star, web, uh, website for John Gore is a file called uh, style.css. Okay, and that controls the basic. Um, look and feel of the whole website okay and that references a separate file um, away from um, away from the web other web pages hyperlinks okay fairly straightforward so we've got hyperlinks everywhere there's a hyperlink on a button there uh, we've got hyperlinks here um, okay so we can you know this is a hyperlink to another page and, and, and hyperlinks allow us to navigate um, from pages to pages, they can be um, hyperlinks to files. They can be hyperlinks to pages or images or or so or whatever. Okay, so that's a bit about hyperlinks. Uh, next one is hotspots, and hotspots um, you don't really see them that often. But and I was trying to find a good example for you, and I hope I found a um, a relatively good one. Is that um, it, when you um, say, let's pretend you're going to Thorpe Park, and they, you bring up a map online, and you want that to be interactive. Okay, so if you like highlight over a certain area, like the I don't know um, this particular ride, it will it will bring up maybe a picture or some information. A bit a bit like this. Okay, so this is um, just a, a map, an interactive map. Okay, and it's interactive because it allows you to uh, put your mouse over certain things and uh, bring up key information, if that works. There we go. Um, so that's sort of like a hotspot where you can, you can actually draw um, a hotspot a spot around a certain place. You can basically do it to a shape uh, or an image or an outline or whatever and users highlight it or roll over or click on it, it will bring up an image uh, or some additional information. Next part is embedded content, uh, and that's where th things like videos or images or games or little applets are actually embedded in the website. And we saw a bit of that. If I show you, um, go back to the Reading Festival one. Um, here we've actually got embedded YouTube um, content in here that's embedded. Okay, um, it's playing from a di from a different website, and it's actually embedded. So you can get embed code, and if you've ever seen those, we can embed sort of features from other websites in your own website, and so on. So that's embedded code. Uh, next part is things like applets and widgets. Okay, and really these are little programs that sort of run on their own um, to provide additional content. So it could be Java, um, it could be uh, all sorts of things, really. So an example. Let's have a look. Uh, here a little, um, there's a little applet um, within here, and this is a, a game, okay, and this is a little uh, JavaScript game, and uh, you can get also things like Flash as well, so it's in a website, but it's actually working on its own, okay, so applets and widget, widgets, you can get all sorts of things, um, 
to help your website um, you know, uh, give, give better user experience and so on. Okay, so that's given you uh, an overview of some of the key features and areas of uh, um, of websites. Thanks for watching.